Thanks for joining us today, guys. We have a good video. We're gonna show you an update from our scaleless head clutch, as well as get into another uh, gene spotlight. So hopefully you guys stick around and see, uh, we're gonna update you on the snake that Miguel got us and um, or that we kind of bought, but he pretty much gave us. <laughs> so stick around. Let's get into it guys. We got five snakes as you guys saw and we've updated you a couple times on. Now they've all shed. So we'll go through, probably should do these two at the same time. So they are the same snake. Come here. You cutie. So we have these are our butter scaleless heads. And they're both males. Um, we only got one female out of the clutch. So here's one. So we can get him to calm down so you can get a good look at his head there. If not, I'll hold him. Here's the other. <laughs> here's the other. Looks identical. Um, they're both butters. And this one, you can see scaleless head there, right here on the tip between the eyes. This one as well. Trying to hold still. So these are real pretty. A lot of times people say, you know, I want to stack up some jeans and I really want to see like these really powerhouse males. But sometimes you just gotta like appreciate some of the snakes for like their single gene and trying to jump out of your hand this. Is that a word? Um, so single genes or even double genes or so, they are awesome, but sometimes, you know, they just look real, oh, seriously? Sometimes they look real pretty, just by themselves, you know? All right, so then we'll go on. The only non scaleless head we produced, we got Good odds here, four out of five eggs for scaleless head. And this one is a pastel butter possible enchi. Hey, come on. It's a pastel butter possible enchi. See how it's a bit lighter up in here than the regular butters? And uh, kind of see how light the head is here. Really pretty snake. This is a female and she will be for sale, but she's not a scaleless head. But a really pretty snake. We like her. All right. <laughs> and let's go with scaleless head female. So this looks normal, pretty normal, but it's very clean for normal. And part of the reason is because of the scaleless head it makes all these scales smaller. It's almost like upping the uh, resolution on a picture. So it looks very, very clean and very sharp through here. But you can see the scaleless head patch there on the nose. On the little nose that we like to boop. So the scaleless head female will be selling her as well all of them except for this one we're gonna hold back is our enchi pin I still think it's a little light for an enchi pin but Ryan swears that it doesn't have pastel in it we're still fighting about it this is a scaleless head enchi pin possible pastel he's shaking his head at me keep your eyes on the camera, <laughs> on the camera. but you can see this beautiful orange here side obviously it's a pinstripe and the scaleless head expression on the tip looks really good. It's a really cool pattern around the sides that gets that from the Enchi. So it's a beautiful snake. It's a male, um, but it's an upgrade to our scaleless head male, so we will be keeping him. Very beautiful snake. 
very good clutch. Um, we were excited to get that many four out of five scaleless heads. So stay tuned, keep an eye on us, and uh, you'll see some of these for sale as well as updates on this guy as he grows up. Check out the morph market. Check out the morph market, that's right. So we've decided to upgrade our Enchi banana. We have an Enchi banana lorry that we're gonna be uh, hanging on to. And um, he's at like 500 grams, so we're gonna be selling this Enchi banana male. He's a breeder, he's big, and he's proven breeder. <laughs> and he's trying to run away. But he's a beautiful animal. You can see this white speckling here. Um, the cool pattern, it's a bit more yellow than what a regular banana would be. The head is slightly different if I can get him to hold still. You can kind of see uh, the striping, the orangish here. Very nice high white sides. Yes, very nice high white sides. It's a beautiful animal if I can get him to hang on and not uh, go anywhere. <laughs> he's very active right now, but he's been breeding for us and he does do well, and we produced him from a banana, um, obviously to an Enchi female. I forget exactly what the pairing was, but I know it was a banana male um, from our original banana male that we had. And so we're gonna be selling him, and so you can keep an eye out, look on our morph market for him. He's a beautiful snake, and he's a breeder. He's ready to go, so super clean. It's time for a gene spotlight. Uh, here we go. So we have, we're gonna spotlight this snake um, and there's a bunch of genes in it and <laughs> a bunch and we're gonna tell you all about them. But the gene X is the key standout in this snake. Um, so this is the snake that we picked up from Miguel and it's a male and it's a pastel yellow belly Enchi Orange Dream Leopard Gene X Het Pied. I'll go over that one more time. <laughs> it's a pastel yellow belly Enchi Orange Dream Leopard Gene X Het Pied. So all those genes basically we've gone through and we have in our collection aside from the Gene X. And um, it's a really cool animal, super bright and so you can go and look up Justin Kabelka's video on Gene X. He has a couple videos on Gene X. One of them is the Gene X 101. And it's, he talks about it as something that really brightens up things. It really boosts the color, which you can see how bright this is. Um, I will show the belly. So it really brightens up and it boosts the color. This like fades into the white, the yellow here. And you'll see some pixelation up in the saddles there from the yellow belly. And it's a beautiful snake. So Gene X is also what he talks about as being a lineage. So sometimes you buy snakes or genes based on who first brought them into the United States. Justin brought in this Gene X. Um, and if you watch his video, he talks about that was a female and he kind of tied it to pied and it just looks really good with pied so this snake looks excellent um, even though it's only a het pied so it's very very cool gene and I know he's running a bit but you can see some of the melty pattern here so and she really messes up the pattern pastel makes it a bit more bright yellow belly brings up the blushing a bit on the sides and gives you some pixelation up in here on the saddles. The orange dream makes everything cleaner. So he tries to run away. The orange dream makes everything cleaner. And the leopard, the leopard's gonna add a bunch of the side pattern stuff here. As well as you can see this head is just crazy looking. So we're really excited. We're hoping uh, He'll be producing some pied stuff this upcoming season. He's still a little small, um, but it's a beautiful animal. Really excited to be working with the Gene X. And so make sure you guys go out there, 
check out Justin's video on GeneX. Uh, maybe we'll link it down below. Absolutely, and it'll be in the description. It'll be in the description. And so it can explain GeneX a lot better than I can. He's the guy that found it and uh, is producing it. There's a handful of people that are working with it. Obviously, Miguel is. And um, we really, again, thank Miguel for such a beautiful animal with the What Did We Buy segment that we do. And yeah, if you guys have any questions or any comments, please feel free to comment below. And thank you so much for watching this. So also, if you could give us a little like on this video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe to us. Hit that notification bell so that when we put out new videos or do giveaways that you'll know when we're doing it. And uh, the biggest piece is interact with us. We really like it when people interact with us. So thank you and we'll talk to you soon. I just don't know. Sometimes, like, when you're trying to come up with content, you're like, could we get crazy and do something? <laughs> These are, like, one of the hooks. We can give away a hook that you beat me with. This was personally beat. Has your own blood on it. Has my own blood on it. I don't know. I don't want you to get too much blood. Here, hit me with it and see, see how it feels. It's a little morbid. I... No, 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 no. You gotta be way harder than that. And higher. You can't hit me on the butt. <laughs> don't, don't do the hook first. I just want to see how it feels. I don't want to cane you. What? <laughs> that was pretty good. Oh, you hurt. That was all right. That was all right. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been harder. Uh, that was okay. I could, I could take more, but. Hopefully so, you didn't bruise. It's not gonna bruise. It's gonna be. It's gonna. It's gonna be red. Can you see it? Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. <sighs> that one's into this stuff. <laughs> <laughs>